The motor spins the pulley that moves the trolley along the rail to raise and lower the garage door. If the motor doesn't work at all when activated, you can replace it using the steps in this video. Wear work gloves to protect your hands. Now let's get started. Unplug the garage door opener or turn off the house circuit breaker for the garage door opener. Pull the emergency release rope to release the trolley. Shut the garage door if it's not already closed. Remove the fastener ring from the straight door arm connected to the outer trolley. Pull out the clevis pin to disconnect the garage door from the outer trolley. Lower the straight and curved arms down and rest them against the garage door. Open the light cover to access the wall control and safety sensor wires connected to the motor unit. Take a digital photo to help you reconnect the wires later. Disconnect the wall control and safety sensor wires from the motor unit. Close the light cover. Remove the nuts, bolts, and lock washers that secure the motor unit to the ceiling bracket. Support the motor unit with one hand as you remove the last bolt from the ceiling bracket. Carefully lower the motor unit and rest it on your work table. Remove the fastener ring from the header bracket clevis pin. Pull the clevis pin out of the rail and header bracket while supporting the rail with one hand. Lower the rail and rest it on a rung of the stepladder so the rail is level with the motor unit on your work table. Slide the outer trolley away from the inner trolley. Loosen the spring nut to relieve belt tension. Using channel lock pliers, carefully squeeze the spring on the spring nut and trolley shaft. Unhook the trolley connector from the front of the trolley and then release the spring tension. Remove the screws from the belt cap on the motor unit and pull the belt cap off. Release the belt from the motor pulley. Remove the light covers and light bulbs from the motor unit. Remove the screw and then take off the battery cover. Pull the battery out and disconnect the wires. Remove the retainer clip and pull off the motor pulley. Remove the screws from all four sides of the motor unit cover and pull the cover off. Remove the motor mounting screws, supporting the motor with your hand as you remove the last screw. While still supporting the motor, carefully flip the motor unit over. Disconnect the motor wire harness from the logic board. Unplug the wire harness from the RPM sensor. Pull the motor out. Position the new motor in the motor unit. Plug in the RPM sensor wire harness. Plug the motor unit wire harness into the logic board. Carefully flip the motor unit over. Install the motor mounting screws. Reinstall the motor unit cover, securing it with the mounting screws. Install the motor pulley and secure it with the retainer clip. Connect the wires to the battery and insert the battery into the battery box. Reinstall the battery cover and secure it with the mounting screw. Reinstall the light bulbs and light covers. Route the belt around the motor pulley and reinstall the belt cap, securing it with the mounting screws. Using channel lock pliers, compress the spring on the spring nut and trolley shaft, then hook the trolley connector to the front of the trolley. Slowly release the spring. Tighten the spring nut to tension the belt. Reconnect the rail end to the header bracket using the clevis pin and fastener ring. Carefully set the motor unit on top of the stepladder. Reinstall the motor unit to the ceiling bracket using the nuts, bolts, and lock washers. Open the light cover to access the wall control and safety sensor terminals on the motor unit. Reconnect the wall control and safety sensor wires to the motor unit. Close the light cover. Reconnect the straight door arm to the outer trolley using the clevis pin and fastener ring. Re-engage the trolley. Plug in the garage door opener or turn on the house circuit breaker. Press and hold the black adjustment button until the up button flashes. Press and hold the up button until the door reaches the desired up position. Toggle the up and down buttons if necessary to achieve the desired position. Press and release the black adjustment button to set the up position. The garage door opener lights will flash twice and the down button will flash. Press and hold the down button until the door is in the desired down position, toggling the up and down buttons as necessary. 
Press and release the black adjustment button. The garage door opener lights will flash twice, and the up button will flash. Press the up button, and the door will move to the programmed up position. Then, the down button will flash. Press the down button, and the door will move to the programmed down position. The programming is then complete.